Hey friends, welcome back. Now we are going to continue our Money Stack series. This is our e-commerce project, and today we are going to deploy our application. So basically, we have fixed a lot of issues, whatever we have faced till the last video, and now this application is ready to deploy. And we are going to deploy three different applications. One is the front-end application, one is the back-end application, and one is the admin application. So here you can see the front-end. And here we have a back uh, admin application and the back end is also running that's a server right so this is running and looks everything fine and uh, we have fixed issues so let me go through the, all the things and also uh, i have few changes and i want you to pull from the github and you can find the link in the description so the in the last video we were having some bugs uh, through the cart and that i already fixed so you can get a latest code from the github Let's log in and see how it is working now. And you can see the sign up also. Uh, we have fixed this sign up issue. Like uh, if uh, someone who is already registered and will try to register again, then we are going to show a message like a uh, user is already registered. So here is an example. now let's register and you can see user already register yes uh, we are not displaying any kind of a spinner or loader for the moment but uh, yes we will improve it but right now we have a clear cut message user already registered so we have to use some different user right and we can uh, do the different user easily so that's not an issue now let's log in again and here we can try and log in and you can see we have logged in successfully we have zero items in our cart and we have a couple of orders let's see actually we have lots of order so here we have all the orders i have placed and let's see the one the first one and here you can see this is the successful order page like order got placed and uh, delivered also so this ui also you can find in, in my github project you just go and uh, pull the latest code that's it and here uh, you can also see uh, we also have a thank you page a thank you page is nothing but uh, this one or uh, this one only right let me show you so here you can see let's go to the samsung yeah that's what we have right now and now let's buy some phones let's go add to cart and here the items added in the cart now let's add a woman item so we can make a difference with other products let's add this item also and this is one right also we need to do an improvement like uh, whenever uh, we are navigating from one page to another page in some places we are uh, using the anchor tag instead of uh, react router link component so if we will use react router link component it will be very smooth compared to the now and i have to update that thing so just stay in touch and, uh, and always try to pull the latest code okay so here we have two items in our cart we can do the place order and here we're going to select the address so let's select this address deliver here these two items i want to buy continue and confirm order and you can see yeah we have got two items and here we are how we are tracking it is a little bit different from flipkart so it is like uh, all, both the items is going to deliver and track in the same way so whatever the status uh, so this is the overall status of the you can see the two different trackers but it's actually the one uh, whenever we will change from the admin side like uh, packed then it is going to update in both the cases Samsung as well as the this uh, women dress right so let's go to the back end and let's, here we have orders now let's uh, reload this and you can see go down and here you can see the Samsung phone a3 and skin so basically we have to update uh, let's say packed confirm and it got packed uh, on 202012 10 so here you have to reload and you can see the item got packed and now it is about to ship so when ship will complete then it is going to ship and then when finally delivered the, we are going to have a date over here delivered on a particular date so this is how it is working and you can also go to the orders and you can view the item so here orders Let's open the last one. So it is going to show all the items, whatever I have purchased. 
and this is the address and contact number and all the details are available here so this is working fine the things uh, now pending is like we have to update all the anchor tags with the react router link component so it will be very smooth and this is uh, that's the that's the major change that needs to be done okay so but uh, we are going to deploy and we are going to uh, see whatever the problems we are going to face and we are going to uh, try to fix all those problems the first problem uh, and the bigger mistake i have done during the development is if you go to the products uh, let's say you go to the pages collection and you can see over here uh, we have banners right if you open the banners object and object and here you can see i have saved a uh, static local host right it should be local host 2000 public so till public everything is fine uh, it is dynamic and this is going to help to pull the image but this local host 2000 this is completely wrong and i will not suggest you to do it but somehow it got a uh, post save so we are going to write some logic to avoid this problem right we are going to simply replace this when we are going to fetch this item we are going to replace this localhost 2000 with the live url whatever we are going to have from the heroku okay so this is how we are going to solve this problem and so let's start first deployment of deployment process of the backend server that is going to help a lot that's the source of the data and for our application so that's that's we need to deploy the first right so let's go and let's say heroku and so why I'm uh, doing Heroku and uh, it's actually like a lot of people ask me to do it on Heroku, right? Uh, and, uh, sorry, is there something wrong? It's not IO, first thing. So a lot of people ask me to do it on Heroku and there are a couple of more options like uh, Digital Ocean and AWS. And I'm not familiar with the AWS, but I am very familiar with the Digital Ocean. I have worked a lot with Digital Ocean and I have idea. So when you're going to use DigitalOcean, it is very, very manual process. Everything you have to do by yourself. There is nothing automation kind of thing. And basically you're going to have a Linux system that's, uh, uh, that's called Droplet in the DigitalOcean. And you have to do each and everything, each and every configuration by yourself. And after spending a lot of hours, then your app is going to be available on the production server. But Heroku here, it is a lot of uh, easier compared to the digital ocean and automated process it will not take a lot of time it is very fast and very easy to use right and how uh, here we are going to use some build tool so for example if we are going to build uh, our react application for the digital ocean then we have to use build command to create the build here uh, you can see over here um, if you go to the source and uh, there is some readme file right so you can see a lot you can read a lot of commands over here so we have to first create the build npm run build once we will run this command it is going to give us a bundler so that is actually our application that is going to be a file uh, bundle.js uh, we are going to have that file in the public folder so it is going to create that public folder but in case of heroku we are going to use some uh, library some builder build tool and that build tool is going to do all this process and that build tool is going to install all the libraries, what, whatever required for this React application. So let me show you uh, the build tool. And first, let's open this Heroku Cloud app platform and also uh, React app uh, Heroku build pack. Okay, so here create search this create React app Heroku build pack, and you're going to have a, this GitHub.com first link mass for slash create react app build pack so this build pack is going to create a build uh, for us and that's what we are going to use uh, in our heroku server okay so this build tool we are going to use and now let's we are in the heroku platform and we have to first log in first sign up right sign up so sign up for free and experience heroku today so let's give it a name email address do we have any other option over here no we don't have we have to manually enter fill the details and just let me get a confirmation
or double i triple z w a triple n or double i triple z w a triple n correct or double i triple z w a triple n yeah uh, the letters are too much so i forgot some time here are the company name yeah we don't have a company name but you can give any name whatever you think likes perfect so we'll give a web script So here we have role option and uh, you can select any one of them if you think you are a professional developer you can select the professional developer and i'm not gonna select that i don't think i'm a professional developer yeah i have knowledge but it's okay other and country we are going to say uh, india that's fine and select language uh, let's choose node.js because it's all javascript and there is no option of javascript so i believe node.js is fine because that's also use javascript i'm not a robot create free account and almost there please check your email okay let's check it so here we have got a confirmation mail from Heroku now let's select this one and here it is going to uh, we just have to click on this to make sure it to, make, to confirm it right and you can see the oh, we are confirmed we are done with the process and here you can see uh, our uh, it is confirmed and we need to create a password Let's say uh, click here to proceed So here's some of the information you can go through and you can read it. So are you uh, domiciled in Italy? We'll say no. Oh sorry, we'll say no. And accept. So here uh, create a new app. So you can click on create new app. You can create a new app. You can create a team. You can uh, uh, add other people to work with you. But yeah, I'm not interested in that. And here uh, you can see the create new app. So you can create a new app. Uh, give it a name the first we are going to build for our uh, back end right so we'll see uh, flip card rest server so this is our app name flip card rest server this is our back end application right and choose a reason united states or europe now both are not close to me but fine uh, let's say united states and add to pipeline create app we don't uh, create app and uh, here we have a couple of options so here we have got the overview of our application resources deploy uh, settings activity and lots of things are here so here we are in the overview tab and here we have a couple of things uh, you can interact with that so uh, install add-ons add-ons is something uh, like paid things if uh, any add-ons are required then you can uh, add it and you have to pay something right so we are not going to do anything that like that and dino formation dino formation is like uh, if you're familiar with the digital ocean then there you can see a droplet here we have dino dino means again you are going to have a machine right and in that machine you can perform some commands and terminal so dino is like a machine and you can access your application in the dino so basically you can access the dino and dino will give you all the information of your application so yeah that's fine and let's go to the deploy part and before deploy we need to choose a build pack what we are going to use to build our application so app name is uh, for flipkart rest server that's fine and uh, let's add a build pack for this application so this is a backend server this is not a react application that's keep in mind add build pack and here we have a couple of options or we can add something manual from outside uh, we can just put a url and that's it so uh, here we are going to use a uh, node.js because this is our uh, complete node.js backend uh, server right we don't we are not using anything else so this is totally based on node.js and here you can see the save uh, changes so we have saved our build pack and this build pack we are going to use to build our backend application and this build pack will take care of everything for example installing the libraries installing the dependencies configuration and almost everything 
right and uh, here we have deploy and here we can use uh, uh, options like uh, Heroku Git. We can install a CLI in our local system and we can access the Heroku CLI. We can connect our application with the GitHub and then we can uh, we can keep our uh, GitHub project in sync with the Heroku. So it, whenever the change will happen in the GitHub that will reflect in the app server and that is again uh, so it is like of automatic deployment thing. But before that uh, we need to do some things right. So let's go to the server, uh, your project code and let's close everything. Here we have our MUN backend server source and here we have index.server. This is our server file, right? So this is what, this is the root file uh, for the whole application and for, this is the entry point and everything is going to trigger from here. What we have to do, uh, we'll go to the package, no not package, package lock JSON uh package.json file and here you can see we have a script this is script whenever we say npm start this node mon is going to execute and this is going to run our server so this is node mon is our dev dependency and this uh, application uh, means that node.js build pack is going to include only the uh, de dependencies which are required for example over here you can see these are the dependencies so this is going to install by the build pack but not the dev dependency. So instead of using node mon, I will use node. Let's save this and now let's go to the git. And here we're gonna say cd mon backend git status. And here we have change our package.json file. Say git and okay, uh, before that, we are going to do more changes. Uh, let's go to the where um, VS code again and uh, in this modern backend we are some places using like API right control shift F API so here we have API and lots of places we are using API oh that's not our so here you can see and here this is a page when we are using this is a controller create page and this is the controller function we are using to create a page and here our mistake we are using this processor env or api to save our uh, image path right so instead of using api process env i'm going to simply remove this thing so from the next time uh, it is just going to use forward slash public and banner that's it let's save this also uh, remove from here save any other places we are using yep so what is this request start file add category so again uh, for the category we are saving images and we don't need this so we are simply going to remove this thing okay so public and request dot file name that's it any other places no so these two uh, uh, these three places you need to change just to keep your application perfect Okay, now let's go to your application, sorry, uh, terminal and uh, get status. And we have three changes, right? I'm going to push these changes, get add dot, get comet, and m. So here, if you're not familiar with the get, then it is a trouble for you right now because, and of course, if you're doing this application, it means you have some familiarity with the get. And I know, I think you know all these things like get add dot, what is that, and get comment, right? So if you have any doubt, just let me know in the comment section or in the future, I will come up with a git tutorial also, uh, the depth tutorial of the git. But right now, just these are the things you need to do. I will just add a message. Let's say uh, API localhost API removed. Now I'm gonna push the project in my git. So whatever the changes have done, all are pushed in our GitHub repository and that is up to date. Now let's go and here we have our package.json file and this is what uh, we are going to execute node, right? For our uh, server. 
let's go to the application again and here we have not this one now let's go back uh, go to the our Heroku dashboard and here we have deploy option so we are going to use github we are going to connect our project with the github so let's use second option github connect to github right and here it is going to give some option connect to github and here we need to log in right and here we have to choose the project name so our project name is e-commerce backend rest server right so this is our pro project name you just go to the github your repositories wherever you are uh, your repositories and here this is the project name e-commerce pack and rest server copy this project name from here copy and paste over here like this and search for it and here you can see the option come uh, is 117.4 slash e-commerce pack and rest server now let's connect this And you can see the project got connected right now this uh, you can see the github is connected now our github project github repository is in sync with the Heroku, right so whatever the changes we are going to do over there that is going to reflect over here but before that we also have to say uh, enable automatic deploys from github so whenever we will make a change uh, if we select this option enable automatic deploy then whatever the changes whatever we will push in our repository that is automatic Going to deploy and create a new version of the app as you can see over here every push to the branch you specify here will deploy a new version of this app right so we'll obviously do the enable automatic deploys so whatever the changes you are going to make in the github that is going to be affected over here also so you don't need to be uh, uh, worry and deploy again okay now let's go and choose a branch so i don't have any other branch except master let's say deploy branch So here uh, the process of uh, building our application is already uh, begin. And you can see that uh, your app was successfully deployed. So our app is uh, deployed and you can view the application. So click on this view and uh, this is our application URL flipkart rest server dot dot com right and you can see that cannot cannot get uh, it means uh, our application is working absolutely perfect and we need to fetch some information but wait uh, what the whatever the changes we need to do over here so here you can see the mon backend and here the important one all the credentials and user information exist in this dot env file and here you can see the git ignore so whenever we are doing a, a git push we are ignoring this env file so this env file is not available in our github repository so you can see we have source.env.example but we don't have env file and it's because i kept all the credentials and every important information in this env file for example the port uh, and the mongodb username mongodb password mongodb database name jwt secret and api so all this information is not available in our github repository so it means uh, we don't have uh, this information in our heroku server as well right but our app got deployed and we are getting cannot get so that's fine but uh, we have to update all this information right so let's go to the again to the project and so there are a couple of ways to do it first you can install uh, uh, heroku git you can install a Heroku Git, you can log in through it, right? Uh, from your command prompt, you can log in from the com command prompt and you can set the environment var variables, right? So now let's go to the settings and let's update our uh, env uh, variables, right? So here you can see uh, reveal config vars and you can see the config vars. Config vars changes the way your app behaves, right? So the, for example, uh, the places where we have process.env.mongodb user, for example, you can see if you go to the source and uh, index.server.js and here you can see we have so here we have process.env.mongodb uh, user what it does it actually looks in our system environment and finds this particular variable if this uh, variable exists in our system environment then it is going to use this variable right but in our Heroku server we don't have that variable mongodb user 
in that uh, uh, Heroku environment in that system, right? So we have to create that system. Uh, we have to create those environment variables. So you can simply go to the reveal config bars, and here we have key and value pairs, right? So we'll go simply to the env, right, and we'll say port copy. And here we'll say 2000 add. Next we have MongoDB user. And here we are going to have a root. So just do not try to use the same information because obviously uh, you are watching this and uh, after this video I will remove all this information. So here it is uh, Flipkart REST server, HTTPS Flipkart REST server and colon 2000. Okay, that's it. Now let's add it. Call add it. Yep. So that's it. These are all our variables, uh, config variables and that's it. So let's, uh, and that's, that's done. Uh, we don't need to delete our app here. Now you can hide config bars, that's it. Our config bar is saved. Now let's uh, try to uh, navigate to somewhere like forward slash API, forward slash category, cat category, head enter. And yeah, it's working. So our backend application deployed successfully and we are getting all the categories related information. So obviously it is going to work for every other things because if one API is working, it means all are going to work. And that's good thing. We are done with this uh, first thing. Now let's uh, go to the application again and create one more app. So we'll say, let's go to the dashboard first. first. And here we are going to say a Flipkart REST server, right? We're going to create a new app, uh, create a new app. And here we're going to say uh, admin, admin app, right? Admin, uh, Flipkart admin app. Flipkart admin app. Flipkart admin app and let's create app. So let's go to the settings and this is a react application, right? So keep in mind, we have to add a build pack as per the react and uh, nothing exists over here. And I told you what we are going to use. Okay, let's search. And here we're going to say, uh, create react app Herco build pack. Here we have Moss Create React App Build Pack. We are going to use this build pack. So here we have Moss Create React uh, App Build Pack. Now let's click on the code and copy this. Copy. Let's go to the app and here enter build pack URL. So we'll enter that build pack URL. We're going to use this Create uh, React App Build Pack. Save changes. So basically uh, this build pack we're going to use to build our app and it is going to install all the required dependencies and everything uh, whatever that react app needs right so it is going to help and that's a good thing now our build pack got saved and uh, let's go to the deploy app part and here we're going to deploy our admin application okay so let's connect with the github again uh, and github got selected now let's choose a project and let's go to the repository my github app and here admin backend rest server no not this one repositories 
here we have our admin app, right? Now let's copy this. Okay, so let's paste the name over here, search. And yes, it uh, it is available over here, Riz117 e-commerce admin app, connect with the GitHub. And it got connected, you can see over here. And now let's again do it, enable automatic deploys. And let's choose a branch. So obviously we don't have any other branch except master and we're going to deploy this uh, branch with the help of React, create React build app, uh, build pack. And the deployment process already started and it is installing all the de dependencies and libraries as you can see also in the messages. Okay, appearing over here. So here, deploy to Herco and it is successful. Your app was successfully deployed. Now view. And here you can see we have got our admin application, right? Now click on the inspect, go to the network tab and see the URL. It is Flipkart admin app Herco sign in and we here we'll do sign in Akshay trade uh, and what is it? Web script, password, let's do the submit and it worked and it is wrong because sign in if you go if you see this api it is pointing to this localhost 2000 api so endpoint is localhost 2000 api it should be this one right flipkart rest server here app and we are taking this localhost it's because this is our client app and we have client configuration uh, for example, if you go to the admin, right, admin app, and here we have our URL config source and URL config. So here we have given our API is HTTP localhost 2000 API, right? That's the reason it is using the localhost 2000. So we have to repl replace this and how we can replace. So it is a client application. So we have an advantage of using windows.location. Uh, a lot of things, right? So when we will do a location dot host name, for example, if you go over here, a console and you do local location, right? Hit enter and you're gonna see a few things like a host name, right? Host name is Flipkart admin Herco app. So here the host name is Flipkart admin app, but uh, if you go here and uh, let's say react admin application, Yep, uh, here, inspect, console, and uh, here we'll say location, and the host is uh, localhost, right? So we are gonna use this to find out uh, it is the deployment, uh, it is the local server or it is the production server. So to find out how to find the production server, we'll say location.hostname triple equals to localhost. So if it is local host, it means it is the local server. It is not the production server. So here in our uh, host name is local host, then our API is going to be this one. Copy. Right. If it is uh, not local host, it means it is the production server and our API is going to be this one. Okay. Right. Let's remove this forward slash. And obviously we're going to use this uh, result in some variable. Uh, base URL, that's a perfect name. Let's save this. And you can see we're going to get the base URL. So it depends on the host name. If it is local host, then base name will be this one. If it is a production server, then it, the base name will be this one. Okay, so here we're gonna replace this. Now let's uh, remove this thing from here and taller base url okay so this is our base url forward slash api so this with this uh, it is going to trigger this uh, http rest server here app.com forward slash api and uh, okay and generate public url uh, here also we need to use that taller base url obviously we don't have images uh, so it is going to be some error or something like that. Save this or API generate public URL. Also, we need to find out, uh, for example, if you go for some containers, 
and here you can see a pages right so products not products for now it is fine right so generate public url is fine for admin application and uh, yeah cool now let's go to the git and let's navigate to the admin app git status git add dot git comment hyphen name we are going to update our github project so we'll say uh, url config date get push so as we have automatic deployment so i guess it is deployed also so let's go and uh, check the overview Uh, new activity let's go and reload this now let's go to the sources and uh, let's control p and find the file your config your config.chase and here we don't have our changes so it is not updated yet As per instruction, it should. Okay, you can see the build in progress, so it is not completed yet. So view build progress. Creating an optimized build production. Build, optimized build, uh, optimized production build. And here you can see the build got failed push rejected yes sorry this build is failing you can troubleshoot common issues here node deploys some possible problems node version not specified in package.json okay node version is not specified So our build got failed, right? And the possible reasons build failed. We are sorry this build is getting failed. Copy. And some possible node version not is specified in package.json. So let's specify the node version. I think this will solve our problem. Let's go and let's go to the package.json file. And here we have browser list. Engines. A node and first we need to identify our node version. Say node hyphen hyphen version. So it's 12.18 right so that's fine 12.x cool now let's save this and 12.x uh, here could node just 12.6 node 16.3 could build packs fine ensure that your application is using the Herco node chess build pack okay let's try this get status get add dot get comment hyphen m node version specified get push 
if it didn't work then we have to install Heroku CLI and we have to uh, check our node version in the client in the server so this has got updated this got pushed and let's go to the CLI Okay, we have to go through the CLI process. So here introduction, getting started with Herco Node.js, Herco Con, view a single page, I'm ready to start. So here we have a couple of options to install the Herco in your system. The Mac OS, download the installer for the Windows, download the installer. Of course, I have the Windows. I'm going to use the Windows installer. Click on this 64 bit installer and it is going to download a Heroku CLI. And here you can see Heroku CLI is getting download. And I already have uh, installed, uh, I already have this uh, package in my system. So let me go and check. Here we have downloads and here we have Heroku. Uh, x64 right uh, I'm gonna run this run as administrator yes now let's install it So the uh, Heroku CLI got installed and let me show you how you can use it for the future. We'll say Windows R command prompt. We'll say Heroku login, right? Heroku login. So it is going to pop up a browser window just to make sure uh, we can log in. So here uh, we have to press some key to make uh, sure we are going to log into the Heroku. And yes, the browser is here and log into Heroku CLI. Log in and logged in successful. You can see here over here logged in as uh, RWI triple WN. And here we have our CLI again. So we have to launch our application. How we can launch it? Uh, we can use the Heroku command Heroku and we'll say uh, Heroku run bash hyphen A. That means app name of your app. So we'll say Flipkart. Flipkart hyphen admin hyphen app. That's our app name. Running bash. So actually, I've got the issue here. You can see. Uh, the issue is over here troubleshoot node.js right so check the build pack and here with this command we can check the build packs right and here the given build pack is Herco for slash node.js that's a default uh, build pack from the Herco itself but we have used a third party build pack right this one that's the reason it is getting fail so the option is we can redeploy it and then it will work or we'll try uh, again uh, from the options mentioned over here. If it works, then it's fine. So here you can see uh, we have got our uh, environment and all. So as you can, you can also see uh, ENV, whatever the ENV available over here, ENV. So these are the environment variables uh, we are using, right? And that's not our uh, use for now. And here you can see ls, it is going to list our app. So here you can see all the files and folders available over it may build, config, logs, node modules, package. And this is our important folder src, right? You can go cd, src, ls. And here we have our files. And here we have our URL config, right? So URL config, uh, 
we can't update from here uh, the vim and a lot of things i tried and it didn't work with this windows system i don't know what is the trouble but uh, yes we uh, i'm not able to update uh, so for example if i use vil like that it is not going to work vim is the default uh, editor in the linux machine and right now i'm in the linux terminal so yes but it, it still didn't allow me to do the configuration change maybe uh, it is because of the machine or window system or i have to install some additional libraries or whatever it is so the vi command not found um yeah we have to install vi and then so in short, uh, i don't want to do i don't want to rush right now with this i'm gonna use a simple process mm -hmm. we'll do uh, also i will check the node version over here node i even even version it's a 12.20 right and yeah it is the right version and also let's check this build packs available build packs we are using for this system here could build packs and build pack not found let's try and use a build pack and i think i'm messing with it because i have already used a third party build pack for this create react app and if i'll set this i don't know what is going to happen and here cook command not found how is this possible oh yeah man i have to first exit from this uh, terminal right so i can do exit and it got exited and here we'll say this here cook build packs Copy, paste, uh, so difficult, right? So here we'll say Heroku build packs and Heroku update available and build pack, build packs, Heroku build packs. And it is not coming, it's coming some warning. Okay, set this. Oh, uh, here go bear packs colon. Set Heroku no chess uh, build packs Heroku build packs colon set Heroku for slash no chess error missing required flag some flag is missing but as you can see the command exact I'm typing whatever given over here and it is saying the missing flag so I'm not sure what is the problem exact but the current option right now to solve this problem is uh, let's redeploy this thing so deploy github connected uh, disconnect connect again uh, choose a project um, it is admin app search e-commerce connect Enable automatic deploys. It is not going to work, but it's still self satisfaction. Deploy branch. And it started deploying process. time it was successful I don't know guys what is happening let's go to the dashboard Flipkart admin app now let's uh, go to this settings can't extend this video right 
I will copy this delete app let's try again flipkart hyphen admin hyphen app create app settings uh, uh, let's go and add a build pack so here is our build pack save changes so our build pack added deploy uh, let's connect to the github and search at e-commerce admin app now here is our e-commerce admin app let's connect with it got connected now enable automatic deploys deploy branch now here it is trying to deploy using the build pack Build log. Uh, if you're stuck, please submit a ticket so we can help. Sorry, this build is failing. You can troubleshoot common issues here. Oh man, uh, we have unexpected use of location. No restricted. And that's the reason this build is getting failed. Oh man, I just tried a lot of things. But it's just the reason unexpected use of location. And uh, yep, that's the reason it is getting failed. Unexpected use of location. We try to use location.hostname. Creating an optimized production build failed to compile uh, this one. and here we have got some error the error is unexpected use of location so the problem over here is after creating the build for this react application uh, somehow it has no access to this location right and uh, i thought of it as a client application and so definitely we're going to have a window then we can access window to location and happily i have placed this location and i thought i can make a switch between the local host and the production server but it is not working so let's some let's make it work and i have to come up with one more video uh, to fix this problem right uh, but it's okay good things come with time so here the base url and that's it let's say uh, get status get add dot get comment hyphen m uh, your config removed location variable get push Now one more build is under the deployment. So where it is? This got finished. And yeah, latest activity. And here you can see oh, one build is in progress. View build progress.
I thought um, I, I can make use of process.env. I just got in my mind right now. Uh, we can use the process.env and we can set uh, the hidden variables. Uh, we can set the, some config variables and that is gonna work. And build got succeeded. And here you can see the build succeeded, right? So yeah, it's a good thing. It got compressed up to 78.2 megabyte. We'll release v3. So this is a v3 or 4 admin app. Would I have placed over here? Flipkart is server, that's it. Now let's go to the app again. Here reload it. And let's go to the config. And yes, the base URL you can see it got updated. So uh, we have to make some changes. And I will. I, I just thought of uh, to come up with the idea of process.env, whatever we are using in the backend server. The same thing we are going to use here so it will solve our problem. So here we'll log out again and we'll try to sign in. Let's go to the network tab, clean the console. Here we'll say submit and sign in successful. Let's see the sign in URL. And here you can see oh, we are using Flipkart REST server heroapp.com forward slash API forward slash admin sign in. It is working absolutely fine, right? Now let's go to the Herco again and create a new app or dashboard. Create a new app, create a new app. And here we'll say Flipkart hyphen clone. Uh, Flipkart clone is not available. We've got app clone. Yes, it is available. Create app. And let's go to the settings. Now let's choose a build pack. The same build pack we're gonna use. Copy. Changes. So our build pack added. Now let's go to the resources access. Uh, deploy connect to the github now here we'll say flipkart clone right mm, go back e-commerce flipkart clone copy paste the name over here search for it now it is much faster, right? We are familiar with it. Connect. And it's got connected as you can see over here. Right, this one. Sorry, what was the mistake? By mistake we jumped to the GitHub. Yeah, it got connected. Uh, enable automatic deploys. And deploy the master branch. No, it is deploying. So here you can see the uh, good message or oh, your app was successfully deployed, now view. So yes, now we are running three different applications. So here is our Flipkart admin app, hercodeapp.com. Here we have Flipkart app clone, hercodeapp.com. And we're getting all the categories. So it's a very good thing. And also so this two application is running. Now let's go to the Samsung and obviously it is going to break over here. And we have got yeah, it also worked, wow. So yeah, that is fine. Oh, I don't know why it worked. It should break. Let's see, go inspect it. 
and oh yeah that's what it is worked because head is localhost 2000 public right and obviously my localhost is also running and if you try to access you can access this uh, image right so this is the reason uh, you uh, we are able to see this image right and uh, probably i didn't fix it it's because uh, if you go url config right here is url config and here it is still 2000 so we have to replace this we'll say taller base url 2000 for the last public fine save let's go get status get add dot get comment hyphen m or url config date get push so it is got uh, pushed and now let's go and check the progress overview so yeah build uh, progress build is in progress and if you can you can do the view build progress So here you can see the build uh, finished and you can see the application again. And this time we are gonna not see this images, right? It's because uh, this is pointing to the live uh, REST server and there is no image available right now. So you have to create a product with an image and then we can see it. So yeah, we have got this and we are not getting images. It's because those images are available in my local server. So basically what you can do, you can remove all of your uh, products from the um, you can simply delete the collection and then start using this application it will create automatically uh, let's for example let's try to create a new product so we'll say products right add product name i uh, will say samsung galaxy b5 there is no phone like that i'm just random it 190 quantity price uh, let's say 4000 4000 and description na select category uh, under samsung choose file let's go to desktop e-commerce source and let's choose uh, image anyone choose this one choose again on the front uh, the back right left i think this is enough and also open your console so you can see if any error got through save and you can see the create request it got uh, created and we got we have got the product pictures so and we're getting all the details of the pictures so this is the first image we have uploaded sorry this is the first product we have added in our live uh, admin app right now let's reload and we have got our 4000 and it still didn't work Oh, this is coming like this. Uh, no, let's see. And what is the reason? Product image container, image. Yeah, it's here. Uh, HTTPS Flipkart REST server public uh, hercoapp.com for slash public for slash. The image should come right. I don't know. Copy. cannot get uh, image 
So that's the reason image is not coming. It's 404. Let's try 2000. Okay, let's confirm uh, image got uploaded or not. LS, uh, we have SRC folder. Let's go to the SRC. Again, LS. Oh, that's, uh, let's see, it is not required over here. Now here, uh, we are gonna see LS. And here we have uh, helpers, apps, action, containers reducers wow oh not this one actually we have to see uh, we have to see different app uh, Heroku or run bash hyphen a app name is flip card hyphen rest hyphen server ls cd uh src dot chase really Not that one. Where we are. LS SRC LS. We have upload folders, right? CD uploads LS. And we have no images. Just leave it over here. Uh, we'll see uh, what is the reason. But uh, we have deployed our app uh, uh, correctly, right? As you can see, uh, we are getting all the things except the images. So if you go over here and we'll see Apple. And we are Apple is just uh, full of pages, so we are not getting. Yeah, that is again coming from the local host. So yeah, we have to fix this issue. Also, this image is coming from the local host. We go to the Webo, and there's nothing. We have something, and here you can see we have just updated, and that's what the reason we are not getting any images. So guys, this is working fine. You can also log in res at the rate web script dot info one two three five six log in and you can see i'm logged in successfully i can also see all of my orders whatever i placed that's for, from that is this all are coming from the uh, from the mongodb database and that is always live right so yes these things are working well except the problem is uh, in our images and uh, so one more video needs to come up now we have uh, two problems everything is working fine the two problems are uh, one is uh, the switching from local server to the production server so i have to find a way how we can uh, switch from local server to production server without uh, hard coding the api or url the second problem is uh, images how to solve those images so thanks for watching don't forget to like share and subscribe have a nice day bye bye